What's going on this evening, guys? This is Barrett with Porta Keeper. I got a treat for you tonight. I got the Turin SD40 today from Espresso Outlet. Now, this isn't going to be my grinder. It's one of the prototypes, but Joe sent it to me so I could do an unboxing video and show you a couple of the features on it. We're just trying to get it out there, uh, let people know some of these more budget friendly, but yet hopefully high-end grinders we're about to find out I haven't looked at this yet pulled it out of the outer box so let's do a quick unboxing let's see what's inside box looks like it's black model 17 I don't know what that means it's made for the US for 120 volts uh, 180 watts consumption Has a nice top loading box now remember this has been used, it's um, a prototype. It has the product manual, looks like it has a cleaning brush, and the power cable. Um, nice styrofoam top. This thing's little. Here's the grinder itself. I'm actually, make sure I got it framed. I'm actually surprised how small it is. that out um, looks like a bellow lid that was more of a hopper it actually has a little bit of heft to it it feels like it's not it looks kind of I figured to be plastic it's actually a piece of a machined or cast aluminum with a little bit of machining on it and the dosing cup so actually that's pretty pretty nice we'll see how it fits on top of a porta filter here in a bit actually has like this nice sharp pretty nice edge let me move this box out of the way so this is really the first time I've seen it actually let's put it next to the DF64 quite a bit smaller it's actually pretty cool so this is already a pretty pretty reasonably sized grinder this is like kind of like a big beer can in size so there's the first look at it really um, it's a conical burr I can see the conical burrs we'll look at that in a little bit looks like it has some step adjusting to it but it has a lot of quite a few steps we'll see how that works out it's nice it's got a nice heft to it looks like it has a power light i'm assuming that's the power button turn it on and off red overload switch on the side i think that's probably about the least attractive thing on the whole grinder motor overload kind of wish they'd put it on maybe the back or something but dosing cup it does have a magnet so it sticks in place looks pretty sharp let's put the hopper on has a set screw it has a couple holes pretty easy assembly that holds this little hopper on looks like it holds it would hold like a a nice big v60 dose big chemex dose and then you have the hopper itself a little bit different everything's kind of different the the hopper fits on the outside and then the bellows also fits on the outside so that's kind of a little different than i was expecting has this plastic lid a little bit thin but it's a really reasonably priced grinder. This is kind of cool though. Um, on the DF64, it's just kind of like a big opening. And this actually has a small opening on top. Let me pop it off so you can see it. So it's kind of like a little funnel. So assuming you'll leave this on the hopper and just pull this lid on and off. 
which is honestly all you need to do. Has a nice bellow feel. A little bit more resistance than the DF64. We'll have to try it while it's running. But there's the overall. I mean, that's a pretty cool looking grinder, I think. It's simple. Um, it's made for espresso too. I think maybe some of the more aficionado types might not like the stepped but i know joe's selling these for i think the introductory price of like just over 200 bucks so it's already well i don't know i haven't tried it yet personally so in my opinion in terms of quality it's beaten brazza in terms of quality um you know that i'm going to open this up and take it apart and look at it so i'll show you the insides of it as soon as i can but i'm just this is really the first time I've seen it in person. Joe sent me some pictures. I've been thinking it's pretty cool. I've seen it for quite a few months now. But really some of the, the design features like little light on the side I never noticed. This overload I never really noticed in any of the pictures. The stepped features. I never really noticed the, the settings or the dial. It's just a pretty simple... I think a, a really nice grinder, honestly. Uh, if you're in on this introductory price, I know I don't get to keep this one, but I'll probably, well, I'll, I'll be getting one of these. And I haven't even plugged it in yet. Um, let's grind some beans through it. Give me a sec. Before I use this grinder, if you're not familiar with my products, these are some of the Porta Keeper products. You have your classic Porta Keeper. We make it seven different variants for various Porta filters. That's our type one, it fits most 58 millimeters. We even have down to the little La Pavani. If you have a handful of tampers, we can take care of your tampers. I don't have one in it right now. I actually have this dosing cup, but we make them for slightly larger distribution tools. And recently we started including um, products for your AeroPress. So these are your AeroPress filters. They're even coming out with filters that fit inside your port of filter. They're kind of handy. I've been using those as well as V60 and Chemex. So really appreciate if you check out our website, www.portkeeper.com. So now the question of the hour, how does it grind? Before I plugged it in, I knew that Joe had used this grinder before. So I made sure to unscrew the top, make sure that there was no grounds on the inside. He cleaned it all the way completely thorough before he sent it to me. So this is pretty much maiden voyage for what you would get out of the box. I'm going to sacrifice some of Brent's good brother beans. Sorry, Brent. And let's tear out my scale. I'm going to do just an 18 gram dose. I don't know if the setting is right on the grinder, but we're going to see if we get 18 in, 18 out. I want to get as close to 18 as possible. So right on the dot, 18. A little bit different, you can kind of pop this off. I'm gonna be careful not to spill. So put our beans in. Has a nice little magnet that holds this down. It's not super strong, but it kind of keeps it in place pretty nice. And it is on about setting 11, it looks like. So the power button is over here on the side. It has this power indication light. It pretty much stays on when you plug it in. And we're just gonna hit go. Bellows works really nice on this. I want to try to get out as much as I can. Let's turn it off. It's a momentary push button. It probably has a delay timer, kind of like the DF64. And it looks pretty good, a little bit clumpy. It's a pretty, pretty new grinder. So I might have to dump this and tear it or tear it into a different cup. So emptied this into a cup that I use for my dating and I wanted to tear the scale. Now I'm going to pour all the grounds that we just ground into 
in this dosing cup. They're all out. We got about 17 and a half grams. So there's a little bit of retention in there, quite a bit. Brand new grinder. Um, it really hadn't filled in all the nooks and crannies yet, but a little bit more than maybe I was expecting. Uh, we can try to turn it on, see if anything else comes out. We're about the same. So I'll have to play with this a little bit, uh, open it up, see if there's any grounds left on the inside. Um, really what you're gonna end up getting, since this is a brand new grinder, you're gonna get transfer. So you're gonna get a couple grams from your last dose in your next cup. Um, really budget friendly, pretty cool grinder. I'm pretty excited. I already want one. I'll be doing more videos, so make sure to check back. Let me know if there's anything in, like specifically that you want to see on this grinder. Um, I'm planning to take it apart. We're going to do some espresso tests. We're going to do some V60 tests. Uh, I'll compare it a little bit to the DF64. But they're totally different grinders. This is a conical burr. This is a flat burr. Uh, this is a geared motor, so it's a little bit slower. This is a direct drive. So they look the same. Um, this might be a more budget friendly day to day grinder for a lot of folks. I kind of want one for like my office or something. Um, just kind of a cool grinder. So again, let me know down in the comments. Check out my website www.portakeeper.com um, Joe Klob with Espresso Outlet he's the importer of these grinders both of these grinders make sure to check out EspressoOutlet.net he has pre-orders going on these they're just a little over $200 uh, everything that I'm seeing so far I think it's a steal if you haven't picked up a DF64 yet he might have a few from his latest shipment so give him a shout on those and as always, I kind of like Good Brothers beans, so check out Brent over at Good Brothers. Thanks for watching.